Hi, today I'm out playing basketball with my kids on the court and I just thought I'd take a moment to to show this quick video clip and I want to ask you a question. Are you committed to happiness? Have you made a commitment with happiness in your life? You see friends, the, the way that a lot of people have been unhappy is that they start a relationship but they never made plans to be happy. They get married, but they plan for the wedding, but never for the marriage. And so because of that, today we have, what, 73% of marriages in trouble. 53% ending in divorce. 15% stay just because of the kids. And another 5% stay for economic reasons. Now, friends, have you made a commitment with marriage to, to be happy in marriage? If you want to be happy you must start right and if you are struggling in your relationship you can seek help you don't have to settle to suffering in silence you don't have to settle for a mediocre marriage no you can change that this i tell you something about knowledge because a lot of people don't understand they discount the importance of knowledge if the bible reminds us that if you are to have a great relationship you must possess knowledge the man must understand the woman and the woman understand the man first peter 3 and verse 7. you know the bible says there husbands dwell with them according to knowledge so if you are a man and you are to be happy you with a woman you must live with her according to knowledge what should you understand about her and what should she understand about you for example a man should understand the woman's world how her hormonal changes can influence her mood you must understand how her needs because a lot of men are trying to meet her needs but you don't know what her needs are you must understand her world regarding sexual matters you must understand i want to tell you this that what a man wants a man wants a woman who will listen a woman wants a man who will show affection you see the greatest need of a woman is for affection a lot of men think in terms of the tangibles oh if i can just give her this and that and the other then she'll be happy even though he's not there physically no she did not marry your paycheck she did not marry a barrel of goods she married you and so she needs you a walk in the park for example just a stroll in the evening that's what she needs she's deeply affectionate and she needs you to romance her heart to massage her soul she needs a sense of satisfaction also a woman needs commitment to the relationship she cannot settle for a <laughs> 90% it's either all or nothing at all that's a woman what what is it that a man needs a man a man needs her to be a good communicator yes ladies you see i want to teach you how to be magnetic to your spouse a man needs a good communicator a man needs her to listen a man needs her to respect him did you know that the greatest need of a man is for respect a man can live with a lot of things, but he cannot live without respect. What else does a man need? Do you know, friends, a man needs affirmation. A man may live with a woman for years and years, and if she's not in the habit of validating him, affirming him, whenever he does something good, whenever he achieves a milestone on his job, you see, a man is career-oriented, and he needs you to validate him, to tell him that he has done a good job. So whenever he has done something good, don't be silent. It's time to... To celebrate him you see friends men and women have needs but if you don't know what their needs are you might be meeting trying to meet their needs for years and years but they're still unhappy because you don't possess knowledge friends can you fly an aircraft without aviation knowledge no 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 this is why friends 53 percent of marriages end in divorce because people are trying to fly, fly this aircraft called marriage but they have not done a course in marriage they have not gleaned information education regarding how to do marriage well friends it's no it's not a chance that some people go for example myself going to university four six eight years just studying about marriage you can't do it all on your own 
Some say, well, let's go for counseling. I said, well, no, no, no. I know it all already. No, friends, you don't know it all. If you knew it, you, would, you, you, you wouldn't be making certain kinds of mistakes. You know, friends, I have a weekly marriage maintenance program. It's a community. It's an exclusive community where I meet with you and you ask your questions and I answer them. And there are others in the group who interact. It's tremendous. It's beautiful. You can get clarification of your issues. We can have a deeper exploration of what you're dealing with. You can try to understand why your partner behaves a certain way. Hello, there's much I want to teach you, friends. Click the link below. Join the exclusive community so we can, we can, we can have good discussions and answer your questions and you can start the journey of becoming a relationship expert. Click the link below and I'm excited to see you in this studio. Hi, this is Lloyd Allen at Marriage and Family Therapist, Clinical Mental Health Counselor, 27 years helping couples around the world. I look forward, friends, to sharing with you in, in, in this exclusive Marriage Builders community. Click the link below, sign up today, and I'll talk to you soon.